everyone. Today, another FO. Completely different story. I've never knitted something like that before. Although, there is one similar thing in this video, which will be a designer. And the last video that I posted was Amazing Shawl. So, check it out. It's the Starlight Blues. So now, as you've seen, I knitted a cover for a jar. This is lace work. And as frightened I was, there's nothing to be afraid of. And I keep tags into it, those ones that you can find when you go to my shop and you check Progress Keepers, hopefully soon an update. Check Instagram, that's the best way to go. But you could see at the beginning of the video that I also use this lovely lights, LED. LED lights! Kind of Christmassy, isn't it? If you're planning to knit a Christmas present for someone, this will be an option. Something nice and fun. And let me tell you a few things about it. Now, you know, this is a paint pattern. I received it as a gift. And if you're a new to kind of a knitting society, go check Ravrily website open account, it's free. You can find Knitting I Love group in the group tab and say hello, who you are, from where you are, everything, anything, be brilliant. So anyway, on that website you can buy this pattern, but also you can buy on this website. This is Jen Sheelan website, which is a lovely designer who gifted me this pattern. And why did she give that pattern? Well, I see that she had a sneak peek in my faves or my wish list, and she noticed her design and she gifted this pattern to me. You can buy a pattern for yourselves or you can gift patterns to someone else and it is a big surprise if someone gifts you something without telling you anything and you check your email and bang, it's there. The name of it, you're asking me, huh? Well, let's put it again over here because I don't have a clue how to say that. I know the last part is firelight. That's good, huh? <laughs> and jar cover. So basically this pattern, so this pattern goes from a magic loop, you can use magic loop, or you can use the PNs, right? Uh, you go from bottom to top, and you have at least two sizes of the jars over here. And the way I thought about that was like, I was overthinking basically when I had that pattern on my list and I really wanted to knit it because it is amazing and it looks so complicated but it's not. You definitely want to follow the pattern, written pattern, or a chart, you'll be fine. So I was kind of intimidated with the whole big size, small size, gauge needles. When I received it, I figured it out, I need to find yarn, I'll knit it, and then if at the end of the day I will have to buy a new jar, I would love that. But I didn't have to, it actually fit. I didn't go so tall, high with it as I should. I kind of just repeated something. And by something, I mean, we have rounds from one to 24. I can tell you that. And basically you repeat that twice or two and a half or something. Well, I, just did that twice. And that was it. So I like that. So basically we have over here 48 rows. Well, with a bit over here. Now, and I'm thinking to knit more for my friends. So the next stage was to find a yarn. And that was like the best project ever. A year ago, I think I bought two kgs of 100% wool. And wool is a little bit scratchier than merino wool or alpaca wool or bfl you know but it's not that bad i could eventually find something a project that i could test that yarn and i was able to do it on this and as this has a kind of a shape of a sleeve i could put it around my hand and wear it for a while and see do i like it or not and i do well not maybe something that would touch my body but something that i can put on the top I can definitely do that. But at the end of the day, I can also knit so many beauties and I know they'll be more appreciated because you want to touch it, you know it is 100% wool. Let's stop about it and show you how much I have. So maybe because some of you are asking me to show you what a stash I have and some of it I'm proud of it because it is, you know, a natural stuff, but half of it is also acrylic, which I don't mind, I don't mind to use it. So at least Let's see those two things that I have over here. So first things first, maybe in the ball, this is how it looks like. It is, it is hand spun and it's like a fingering weight. 
So I like that, I really do. And then I have gray color. So just to show you, I can mix it. And now, this is what I have in the cream color, and this is what I have in the gray color. So to knit this booty, I used 25 grams. And I was thinking maybe I can do some small 30 grams skeins, skeins with this one, so you can make a pattern like that. Let me know, what do you think about this? Do you want a piece of Polish wool 100%? Let me know, I can put it in my shop. Then I needed needles and I used 2.25 millimeter needles. The pattern tells you to, to use 2.5 millimeter needles, but because I wasn't sure about the weight of this yarn, even though I classified it for as a, as a fingering, I prefer to go smaller just in case, better to stretch it than have it bulky on the jar, don't you think? But also, I also knew that this 100% wool, if I put slightly warmer water into it, I can uh, shrink it. I haven't blocked it yet, and basically I presume the blocking on it would be to wash it and put it on the jar to let it dry. Am I right? This is something I love. Pouch, check my shop if you're interested. Now, the other two things I needed was bag, so I put it in here, perfect size. It's a sock size, I presume, but that was awesome, brilliant. My personality over here, everything all over the place. And, unusually, a biro with my name on it. I received it as a gift. Yay! From my friend from work. Now, sum it up. You need a pattern, link down below, show notes. Go click, you will have a pattern over there. You need needles, DPNs, or circular needles. This is for 100 centimeters wire. Um, and yarn, any yarn you like. I would suggest if you have any scratchy yarn that you don't know what to do with it, this will be perfect because look at this. So if you're looking for a brilliant present to knit something that you like, that it will look amazing and you can give it to someone else or even keep it for yourself, this is the one for you. And I hope you like that. I really enjoyed it and I was shocked that I was able to do that. And if I could do it, you can do it too. So officially, thank you so much for this pattern, Jen. Bye. Oh, subscribe and find me on Instagram, Knitting Ella. And this is a label from this skin that I used and uh, as you may thought, I thought I'm going to run out or just finish a pattern with the skin I had, but actually I could make a bigger border.